What's going on, Odoers? Welcome back. Nathan here, and in today's video, we're going to walk through the basics of work centers in Odoo manufacturing. For new to Odoo or just getting started with the manufacturing module, work centers are one of the foundational pieces you'll want to understand. They help define where production happens, what resources are used, and how long operations take. Think of a work center in Odoo as a location where manufacturing operations are performed. Here at Stealthy Wood, we have our cutting station, sanding station, varnishing booth, and assembly station. These work centers allow us to track capacity, efficiency, working hours, and OEE metrics. In short, work centers help you organize your production flow and give structure to your manufacturing process. So let's jump into our database and see how this all works. Today, we're starting off in the manufacturing app. The first screen we land on is our work centers overview page, which provides a comprehensive snapshot of all the work centers in our Stealthy Wood database. Each card shows how many work orders are ready to be launched, as well as the current OEE for that work center. OEE stands for Overall Equipment Effectiveness. The higher the percentage, the better the work center is performing. And if we click on this work orders button, we can see every operation that's ready to be started. In the event you see a plan orders button, that simply means there are no work orders currently scheduled for that particular work center. Next to those buttons, you'll also notice a small monitor icon and clicking that button takes you straight into the shop floor module. We won't be covering shop floor today as we have a separate video that goes into depth, but I'll make sure to link that down below. Today, we're going to create a brand new work center because Stealthy Wood is introducing a new product that requires a table saw during production. To create a new work center, we're going to head to configuration at the top and click on, you guessed it, work centers. Then on this work centers page, we're just going to click new in the top left corner. And that brings us to a brand new setup page where we can configure all of the necessary settings. First, we're going to give our new work center a name. I'm just going to type in saw station. And to help identify it easily, I'll also assign a unique code, which will be saw1, as well as a classifying tag. The working hours field defaults to the standard 40 hour work week. If you ever need to shorten or expand that schedule, you can select a different schedule from the drop down. Since this is our only table saw, we're going to leave this alternative work center station blank. And then we're going to move down to the general information tab. The first section is titled production information. The time efficiency here tells Odoo whether the station is typically working faster or slower than expected. In addition, the OEE target field is the minimum performance level we want this work center to maintain. Both of these suggested values look good, so we're going to keep them as is. Next, it takes 10 minutes to set up and another 10 minutes to clean up the station. So in the setup field, I'm going to enter 10. In the cleanup time field, I will enter another 10. The table saw used at this station is extremely dangerous. Only one employee, Jose Ignacio, is trained to operate it. So we're going to add him in the allowed employees field. If this field is left empty, it means anyone can use this work center, which of course is not what we want in this case. Below that, we can add a brief description of what this work center does. Since the name saw station is already pretty clear, we're going to leave this blank. Going back up, on the right, we can add some costing and accounting information. We're not going to set those up today, so I'll skip over to the product capacities tab. Inside the product capacities tab, we can control the number of products that can be processed simultaneously. I'm going to set the capacity to 5 by clicking add a line and then entering 5 in the capacity field just to keep things from getting too crowded around the saw. By default, you'll see all products is listed in the product column. However, if you ever need to set a specific capacity for a specific product, we can click add a line and select that product here. And that's it. Our new saw station is officially set up. If we head back to the work center overview page, we can see it's listed and now ready for use. 
From here, we can add it to a bill of materials and begin using it to carry out work orders. And that's a wrap. Today we explored how work centers help organize and manage production inside of Odoo. The work center overview gives clear visibility into performance, OEE, and any work orders that are ready to be launched. Creating a new work center enables you to define how that station operates from its working hours and efficiency settings to safety restrictions, setup times, cleanup times, and even the maximum number of products that can be handled simultaneously. Altogether, these tools make it easy to maintain an efficient, consistent, and well-structured production environment, ensuring everything on the shop floor runs smoothly. Thanks for watching, Odooers, and I'll see you in the next video.